Hi everyone, Simon here. Jib, season two's over. We left it with so many questions. So many of you wanting to know. You can't leave it on a cliffhanger. Will I do a season three? Well, possibly. That's up to you. Jib has been seen in real time six months ago. Where? In the UK. What happened between the end of season two and six months ago, Jib back in the UK? How's she back in the UK? To answer some of your questions, I don't have the specifics of all the legalities that went on. Only some information. The English lawyer working on John's behalf somehow managed to get enough information to put a case against Jib. Summons were issued, a court date set for money laundering. John also had to go through that process because it could have been either of them doing that. But the outcome was Jib was summoned, was issued a summons in Thailand by a Thai lawyer. She never came. The case was closed, all dropped, but the money from Bangkok Bank was returned to sender. The lawyer, I believe, had to open John's mother's estate again to get the money back and then pay the extra taxes that were due on the estate before returning about 80% of the money to John. And the lawyer only took a few thousand pounds for all the work. The lawyer had won. John had got some money back. This we know. Junta believed to have left Thailand. Lex still be believed to be in the same businesses. Casey had left Jib at some point and gone back to wandering around the world playing music and still returning to Thailand. He had no problem because he hadn't been caught in Singapore. No prosecutions against him. Jib had nothing. The case is all dropped in the UK. She had nothing against her. Except it looks like she wasn't in favour with Lek anymore. And it looks like that path for her supplying mules, shall we say, um, ended. The elders from the tribe information passed on to me recently is they moved on to another business less than 20 miles away from the original cafe, started again. They're still in business and Jib is back in the UK in business with them. And there's another twist, which is the shocker really. She got away with everything. She stole that money and lost it. She went into an illegal activity and got away with it. She still has the house in Thailand, still a couple of million bars in the bank. She's still been doing the gold, backwards and forwards sending. But she's got away with all these illegal activities and she's back in the UK. What's the big twist? Can there be a season three? Depends on you. The big twist? She's back with John. She has been seen with John. Now I can't confirm this 100% because I haven't seen John and I haven't seen her. I will at some point for sure. I know Peter and Pla, they're fine. Has Jib gone back there? Don't know, not heard. So Jib got away with everything and she's back with John. This is a rumour, to be confirmed. She did so many bad things. This little girl from Thailand, working in a bar in Chiang Mai, as we said before. She affected in and out of different people's lives, taking all the time. 
yet she still walks free. Seems to have got off everything scot free. But she's getting older. If she is back with John, you know that's not going to end well. He's got over, what, £500,000 in the bank. You just think if she is back there, she's going to try and go for the whole lot and go again. But has John learned his lesson? Well, and obviously not if he's back, if she's back with him. If she's back with him. So many possibilities. So I thought I'd fill you in. That's the way things stand. I didn't want to leave you on that cliffhanger, not knowing what was going to happen to her. Whether we'll do another one, again, as I said, it's up to you. Let me know. And... Uh, as I mentioned before, I hope you enjoyed the series. It's all based on uh, fact. Parts of season two um, were actually based on one of you subscribers who'd contacted me. So there was some stuff in season two that was also confirmed to be true. So that's double facts. No Richard Hammond at the moment. I think he's just had a bit of an accident in one of those cars on TV show. So I think he's out of action flying for a few weeks. Mm. So yeah, one of the subscribers, one of you, contacted me with the story and it all fitted together with what Jib was doing. Coincidence. So you can, if you want, send me some of your stories. We'll have a look at them. Right now, um, I think... We're just about to start filming what I believe is going to be my best story to date, if not the best one ever. And it's called Drowning Love. That will be with you soon, I hope. It's only going to be nine episodes, start to finish. And Solomon's Tales. There's a few more of those to go before the end of that hedonistic holiday. Again, that'll keep popping in and out at the moment. I'm still looking forward to starting the Bangkok Chronicles. That will be coming soon. And uh, some live streams, which you possibly have seen, and some more coming. I will catch you guys all on the next video. And have a great day. Please hit that little thumbs up, it all helps the channel, That's the statistics, share the video with your friends and uh, I'll see you soon, bye for now, bye bye.